Wow, Nick, right. you got your butt kicked well, there. Well, come on. Yeah, that wasn't even close. Can't wait to see how this guy does. I, I fought with heart, though. You can't do any ah. worse. Especially That's when right. I was running around, I fought valiantly. I right, right. In the other direction. Right. Valiantly. Valiant in my own way. Well, all what right. In Enough Except about me. I did. Stepping in, thank you. Got it. Let's, let's Enough turn about this, me. Let's turn this spotlight to the real star. The real martial artist. Me. Brett. Brett Allen Dorman. That's bad. That's right. Bad dude. Place your bets now. Who is going to win? It's the last chance you have. Let's watch. It's going down. There's no way. There's no way. Eight? Come on. Are you ready to go? You're rested up? Yeah. You're ready? Ready is ready. Ripnet ready. Woo! Camera guy ready. On your mark. Get set. Banana. Oh. Go! One! That's one! Get up! Come on! Oh! I'm ready to be a tense fighter. That's what happens when you grow up in the hood. Oh my god! gentlemen we are not making up these numbers this fight was not pre-planned everything is real about what you're looking at uh, that was a mugging people we need to call 911 well folks there you have it are you satisfied with your performance I'm pretty satisfied I mean I tapped out a c fast early I was able to get out of some sticky situations. He almost had me at the end. Those last couple of seconds were an arm bar right there, but I couldn't be the loser. I think it's gonna be a good underdog story for you to, to, make, to make you out to be a hero. Obviously, I was villainized through most of 
the pregame shows. My effort really pulled through and I think that tying is just fine. What would you say to the critic uh, who says this, this wasn't entertaining, this wasn't what I wanted to see, I wanted to come in here and see you know, I want to see somebody get brutalized. I wanted to see blood and broken limbs. If they can go three minutes with Tom and get less than eight submissions, they can have the show. I'll hand, it, I'll hand over my spot to them. I won't. I'm going to stay on the show, but that's noble of you to do that. That's, I only say that because I know it won't happen. But on the off chance that it does, I'm not going to put my spot on the show at risk. How does your neck feel? It feels a lot longer. I almost feel like if I go like this, someone's trying to pull it back down. I feel a little like E.T. Like a rock'em sock'em robot. That's a good question. Are there any other battle scars? I've got my knees. I noticed the bigger one at one point. He got me into an ankle lock. Oh my. And I think that I, think that I shouldn't have agreed to that waiver at the beginning. I think that this is definitely going to cost me a lot of money. You can it, sue. It looks infected. So it's going to either have to come off or very long antibiotics that's very expensive. There was one point, can we run a clip of that, uh, Craig? Thanks, Craig. Uh, as you're all watching right now, uh, this is where Brett got picked up and dropped on the back of his neck. Uh, Brett, while we watch this clip, tell us what's going through your mind. What was going through my mind was when he picked me up, I thought, oh no, it was like Nick said. Like, I knew I was going to get tapped out, but when he dropped me on my head, it was, it was a whole other experience. And I had to try to last as long as I could because I knew that when I stood up, my head was still spinning. And I, it was very hard for me to figure out who was who and what, what was going on. So I just had to try. My, after that, my defense was pretty much just push him away as much as possible try to get some distance. I think what I'm most proud of for both of us, even though he took us down eight times a piece, we both got back up and got back into it. Into that, I have one word. Goo. Goo uh. Tom. Um, Brett was very aggressive and very offensive, which allowed me to do uh, some more impressive throws. and allowed me to, to uh, do that one spinning back thing where I just kicked him up in the air. It's because he was coming forward. Uh, Nick seemed to be pressing backward most of the time, so I wasn't able to do a lot of those. Tom. I think the crotch is really an offensive weapon that a lot of people take for granted. I mean, everyone's got one. Not everyone uses it. Tom. I'm just glad he had it on so I didn't have to deal with his back hair. Tom. Nope. Not in the least. Tom. Fear. Tom. Fear is what they will take away after watching this. I don't ever want to fight anyone whose name starts with T. I don't want to fight anyone whose name rhymes with Tom. I don't want to fight Mom. I don't want to fight Mom. La Bamba I'm not fighting. No. I won't fight a Swami. I'm never going to go into any sort of padded place and fight anyone ever who's, again. who's already there. Because chances are that they, they are there for a martial arts background. If Brett and Nick were somehow able to fuse with some sort of crazy fusion dance to become Bricknet, to become Bricknet it would be the ultimate warrior. Or at least much more effective than they are individually. We're looking at probably three submissions instead of eight. You know who the real winner is? America. America and all of its companions, Canada, the UK. To a, a lesser extent, uh, the Netherlands. Russia did not win. Russia was the loser. But someone has to lose. I think the real champions are you guys. You think? No, not really. What Bricknet is. Bricknet is. We are equal parts in this unification. Brignette is heart and champion. And headband and abs. Brignette.